Reverend Robert Foster dedicated much of his life to bringing people together, particularly empowering Hamilton's black community. We spoke with his two grandsons on his legacy and how they look to continue his work. Rob Foster says some of his fondest memories of his grandfather, Reverend Robert Foster, are the days they worked side by side. I actually worked with him. Um, he was uh, employed with the Ontario Jockey Club. So uh, I worked with him at um, Woodbine Racetrack. He was the, uh, the uh, clergy and um, he was the, uh, the reverend there as well. After his dad died, Rod Foster says the reverend became a father figure, a role he had with many living in downtown Hamilton. He was like the patriarch of our family and in the community. Everybody talked about Robert Foster. His nickname was Coach. Coach Foster, Coach Foster, because he coached teams, and it, not just black teams, he coached all multiracial. Born in Louisiana in 1920 and adopted at a young age by a Hamilton family, the Fosters, Robert had always understood being an outsider in more ways than one. He taught me what racism is, segregation, discrimination. He taught me about all the things about self-esteem when I was in my early childhood, before I knew I was black. Foster eventually took the role as reverend at one of the city's first black churches, Stuart Memorial, where he continued to spread his message of black empowerment. We learned it in our church, right? And that's, historically, that's where blacks learned about, you know, through gospels, through their church, because we didn't celebrate those things in school, right? Obviously, with Black History Month, we're starting to recognize those things, but ultimately, he was a visionary with regards to getting the message out. The Reverend continued to work to build the black community in Hamilton by helping to create the Afro-Canadian Caribbean Association, or ACA, serving as its first president. But he was noting the influx of blacks coming in and migrating in from all the Caribbeans. And let's gather and get these people to be on the same side. Instead of any sort of inter-squabble, it's all of us, which is the African diaspora. And that's why he wanted to build the numbers. Now his grandchildren look to continue to build what the Reverend established. Continually bringing uh, not only his name, but um, you know some other names to light, and uh, continuing uh, recognizing, you know these these uh, these people who have contributed to the community for many years. Recently, Rod Foster is focusing on working with the next generation, much like his grandfather did. I spoke to a class of young black men, mm -hmm. and I created a safe zone, mm -hmm. and I talked about their struggles. These are 14 to 18 year olds, and we went through their struggles, very similar to the struggles I had mm -hmm. as being the only black kid in my school. Mm -hmm. He would probably say, you know, keep, keep preaching. Mm -hmm. You know, just keep putting out there, you know, and try bringing people together, because he was all about love, right? Now Rod, a former parole officer, longtime fitness coach, still is, is working to try to guide young people the way his grandfather did.